Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. This Tutorial Tuesday video, we demonstrate the new T-Rex option for the sync spacing functionality. Uh, this feature will sync connector spacing to the 2D T-Rex initial spacing value on surfaces that utilize T-Rex. Uh, and this is particularly useful uh, when the uh, new angle boundary condition is used. Okay, on screen you'll see that we have the extra 300. Uh, I've put uh, used on database entities to put a uh, advancing front surface mesh on the, the geometry itself. Um, and we've applied T-Rex spacing to the upper and lower surfaces of the wing. Uh, and you can see that here. This is the root of the wing. Uh, and then of course, the leading edge. Um, <clears throat> one of the things we do or recommend when you uh, are meshing an, an airfoil or a wing. Uh, if there's a, a blunt trailing edge, we want to go ahead and put a structured mesh there. That's going to give us the highest quality elements on the blunt trailing edge. When you go through this process, as you can see here, using T-Rex spacing does not change the connector dimension or distribution. And our next step in, in the process would be to grab all of the connectors and we want to sync the spacing so that we can ensure a smooth distribution of uh, dimensions across connectors uh, that come together at, a, at a, a particular point in the geometry like this. Uh, so if we sync the spacings, you can do it through the wheel, the right-click wheel. Um, <clears throat> you can do it on the toolbar, or you can go to Grid, Sync Spacings. Uh, and this is, <clears throat> if you have a structured domain, you want to keep this checked so that you don't destroy the dimensionality of the structured surface domain. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sync spacings. You have the options of syncing to the minimum, maximum, or average. So if you sync to the, the minimum uh, spacing, uh, you're gonna get, obviously going to get the, the minimum spacing here. But um, that's not the spacing that's used on the surface here using 2D T-Rex. Uh, so we've added a functionality in 18.3 where you can sync the spacing um, based on the T-Rex spacing. Uh, and again, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, this can come uh, particularly useful whenever you're using the angle boundary condition, but I wanted to show a different use case. Whenever you're doing refinement and the leading and trailing edges of a wing, we want to terminate at isotropy. Instead of simply doing the sync spacings, we're going to click on the uh, feature that allows us to sync the spacings based on the T-Rex spacings prescribed in the boundary uh, conditions for the surface domain. You now get uh, much more isotropic elements uh, towards the root and tip. A good way to terminate at isotropy. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.